If you want to season your pumpkin seeds before you toast them, or even season them while you're toasting them with oil or salt, you'll want to make sure that your pumpkin seeds are very dry. So whether you put them on the stove and boiled them and simmered them for 10 minutes, or took them straight from the pumpkin to your colander, you'll want to make sure that they're really dry. Now if you live in a dry climate, you can spread them out on a cookie sheet or a roasting pan and just leave them out overnight. Some people like to put them in a very low oven and dry them out by putting them in the lowest possible oven overnight. If you have a dehydrator, especially if you live in a humid climate, you might want to put them on your dehydrator and follow the directions for your dehydrator for drying your pumpkin seeds. Well, here in Arizona, we don't have too much of a problem with dryness. So I just put my pumpkin seeds on a paper towel. Besides, I'm in too much of a hurry to let them go overnight. I'm anxious to eat them. So I put them on a paper towel, and then you just pat them dry. I like to put seasoning on mine. Sometimes that seasoning includes some butter and some spices. So you really do want to make sure that your pumpkin seeds are completely and thoroughly dry. If you don't have dry pumpkin seeds, your seasoning won't stick to them as well and you'll lose some of the flavor. So whether you're patting your pumpkin seeds dry with a paper towel or a, or a thin dish towel or drying them overnight, putting them in dehydrator or drying them on the very lowest setting on your oven, make sure your seeds are really dry before you season them. That will give you the very best results for your toasted, roasted, yummy sunflower seeds.